Today, we're gonna be painting a tumor with freaking laser beans. Oh yeah. To start us off, we're gonna take this pre-prep still magnolia tumbler, give it a little scuff, a little wipe down with some ribbon alcohol, and spray it black, like this. There we go. Oh, sorry, you can't understand me. There we go, all blacked up. And while we're letting it dry, let me introduce you to X-Tool. X-Tool's Black Friday still starts this week and they sent me this freaking laser beam. As a matter of fact, when I got it, I was like, hmm, what in the world am I gonna do with a laser? Yeah. And it was a super breeze to set up following the instructions with the frame and laser, the rotary, and the air assist. But before I knew it, I was going absolutely nuts incinerating anything and everything I get my hands on. Fire, fire, fire! Eventually, I did manage to have some successes, like this business card right here. If you don't like the business card, you can make beautiful music with it. A rubber stamp, even though I did it backwards. Ooh, Black Adam, if you smell something burning, call fire. That was me, sorry. These wooden earrings with a sweet airbrush fade. This, I don't know if it's glass or acrylic, but I think it might be glass, let's see. Yeah, it's glass. This spooky guy, and you can airbrush it. Ooh, spooky. Maybe put your custom logo on a shirt. Hmm, or not. All right, so now that the tumbler's dry, let's go over to the computer and get the file ready. Let me just pick that up on my way. No, all right, now we're in X-Tool design space. Whoop, um, you're not supposed to see that yet. There, I fixed it, sorry about that. Um, moving on, we're in X-Tool design space and I have my two images for the front and back that I wanna do. Because it's engraving, you have to invert them and this is my signature logo and a lot of you have this one, it's drip lips. And you can totally engrave the image as it is but I went into Photoshop and separated it because I wanna try a little something, you know? All right, now to get our sizes right, we, we need to measure the circumference and the height. And because I'm gonna to try to be extra and do them both at the same time, front and back, I made a rectangle that equals the circumference and the height. And I'll place them exactly where I want them. Should work fine. So as you can see, mine is eight inches tall and nine and three eighths circumference. Well, I know it's thinking, hold on, hold on, don't panic. Now it's time for a quick little math lesson. To find out three eighths to a decimal, all you do is take three and divide it by eight. Boom, there's your decimal, 0.375. So it's gonna be 9.375 wide, which is the circumference, and eight tall, which looks super weird right here. It doesn't even look like it, but that, but it is. And one more very importante tip. We have to rotate this 90 degrees, boom. Be sure to select cylindrical. And I sprayed a bunch of different layers of paint so I could check my colors on this metal panel to figure out my speed and power settings. And I'd encourage you to do the same thing. You always want to test. Oh, that is fantastic. What do you think, Bailey? Amazing! <laughs> All right, our first layer's done. Let's see what we got. And before I move it, I made a mark here and here on the top of the tumbler, just so I could put it back easily. All right, now, that did not do what I wanted it to do because it went all the way down to the metal. I really wanted it to just go to the white, but whatever. But this, whoa, whoa, whoa. look at that. What? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Now, let's break the old airbrush out and color this bad boy. Ooh, I'm excited. Now I've been waiting for a chance to use these brand new colors from Big, ooh, candy. Big Bear Alcohol Inks, the beauty. Okay, so I've narrowed it down to these few colors. What do you mean that's not a few colors? Yeah. I'm gonna start with the Yowler. Gooseberry, <laughs> that's a funny name. Anyway, because these are alcohol inks, they're transparent and it should not show up over black. I'm hoping it'll show up on this metal. I'm not really sure. All right, so let's put some goose poop in my airbrush. I mean, uh, gooseberry. Might need to test that out first. It does kind of look like poop. It's not as popping as my favorite, which is buttercup. That buttercup is a beautiful yellow, but I think it'll do the trick. Let's try it out. Ooh, oh my gosh, it shows up so good. What? Look at that. Man, look, oh my gosh. Focus. There we go, thanks. And you see how it literally only shows up on the light color. Dude, I'm gonna do this side, let's go. Oh, it shows up so sick on the steel. That is awesome. Oh my gosh. Let's do the other colors. We'll go with the blue and the blue going over. Hey, watch out. The blue going over the yellow will make it more greener. Okay. Let's put your blue beard in me. Yeah, brush. Oh, 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 oh. oh, such beauty. Wow. Man, look at that. Oh, this is so sick. Let's turn it off. A little blue here. We'll fade out. I gotta leave room. I got a lot more colors to do. Next, purple. Or, let's see. Art. Hmm, artichoke. I wasn't really expecting that. Maybe it's pretty. I am delicious. Ooh, ooh. Oh, I like it. This. 
Wow, look at that. Okay, I'm a fan of this one. I like artichoke color at least. I don't know about the food. I don't know if I ever had an artichoke. Listen, check this out. Painting this where you're just going at it and it only shows up on the light parts, so satisfying. It's like I'm a master painter in the lines and nobody even knows this our little secret. Beautiful purpley blue transition there. Hmm, that's good looking. Yep, that's what my wife says every time I walk in the door. Or at least Paisley does, I don't know. Huh? All right, next we have, um, Paeonia, 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 or if you're reading here, I-N-E-O-I-P-A, okay? So just so you know, that's pronunciation. Ooh, look at that, oh my gosh. Amazing, these colors are so popping. Next we have some Calypso Orchard. Not really sure what that means, but kind of peachy. Leave some room, I got one more right there. All right, cloudberry. Mmm, that sounds delicious. Ooh, that's nice. Oh yeah, that's a winner there. <gasps> that is a winner. Winner, drip lip dinner. We're gonna let that dry and hit it with a little, hey, show the space. A little mate clear, eh, huh? Yeah, in my mind. It works. So that's what I'm gonna do. And that makes me happy. While I'm waiting on that to drop, if you wanna take advantage of their Black Friday sale that they have going on right now, be sure to use my affiliate link in the description. And while you're there, you can check out the brand new F1 Dual Laser Engraver. This thing is lightning fast and super precise. And the craziest thing of all is that it's handheld portable and you can take it wherever you go. And if you join the crowdfunding campaign before November 30th, you can save $500 and you get it before anyone else. Talking about bragging rights. And by using my affiliate links, you help support the channel and it'll leave you some dough. See how we help each other out. All right, it's been cleared with the Mate Clear A. I got it lined up in there. I think it's perfect, so we'll see. We're gonna go back in there and hit the button to cut our second layer of image. Cross your fingers. 37 minutes. All right, that's not too bad. Looks like I got it lined up right. Just have to dust it off a little bit. And, and it is done. Ooh, what? That's something. <sighs> Did pretty good. Kind of blurry. I think I might have the laser not focused or not close enough. But let's look at this side. Oh, okay. This side work. Fantastic. That's so sick. You know what I could do? I could take a posh guy and make the teeth white. That would be cool, huh? Or should I just leave it alone? <laughs> All right. That turned out ridiculously awesome i didn't show you this but i tried two other times before this one my first attempt i painted like five different layers of colors and tried to do the gradient thing which it started off doing really good and then i was like oh i forgot to turn the air on and then i turned the air on and it did this apparently it cuts a little heavier with the air assist who knew whatever and then there's this guy right here he did super sick and this is my burst file that i have available on my website i just inverted it so that it could etch it only took 197 minutes i'm sure i had my settings way wrong plus it's a little dark might have uh, overcooked it a little bit and finally oh can you just take a peek at that Okay, so you did see I did the black outline of the letters because you couldn't really read them. But man, doesn't that look so much better? And I took him to the dentist and gave him a teeth whitening treatment. So if you don't have a laser and you really want one, don't worry about it. I got a plan for you. It makes a great gift for your husband or wife. And then you look fantastic because you gave it to him, but then you get to use it. Be sure to check out the link in the description for the X tool. But if you don't have access to a laser and you're not planning on getting one, be sure to check out this video right here where I did drip lips and you can download the image and use it as a PNG or a water slide. Cover all the grounds. Now watch this clip of how I did the fire scene. It's funny. <laughs> okay, see you on the next one. Fire, 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 fire. All right, and then edit some flames and some smoke in there.